Good morning. Welcome to 1 Samuel chapter 14. We're reading devotional sections and then commenting on them. Today there's quite a long stretch, so let's read right at it. 1 Samuel 14, verse 15 through 23. And there was a trembling in the camp, in the field, and among all the people, the garrison and the raiders also trembled, and the earth quaked, so that it was a very great trembling. Now the watchmen of Saul and Gibeah of Benjamin looked, and there was the multitude melting away, and they went here and there. Then Saul said to the people who were with him, Now call the roll and see who has gone from us. And when they had called the roll, surprisingly, Jonathan and his armor bearer were not there. And Saul said to Ahijah, Bring the ark of God here, for at that time the ark of God was with the children of Israel. Now it happened, while Saul talked to the priest, that the noise which was in the camp of the Philistines continued to increase. So Saul said to the priest, Withdraw your hand. Then Saul and all the people who were with him assembled, and they went to the battle. And indeed, every man's sword was against his neighbor, and there was very great confusion. Moreover, the Hebrews who were with the Philistines before that time, who went up with them into the camp from the surrounding country, they also joined the Israelites who were with Saul and Jonathan. Likewise, all the men of Israel who had hidden in the mountains of Ephraim, when they heard that the Philistines fled, they also followed hard after them in the battle. So the Lord saved Israel that day, and the battle shifted to Beth Abin. Jonathan gets the ball rolling. They're totally outnumbered. Jonathan acts out in faith. We saw yesterday he climbed up the sheer cliff face and attack. And now Saul, he wants to consult the priest, but the noise gets louder and louder. And finally Saul just says, don't worry about it. Let's just go. And they all go out in kind of a chaotic fashion and they uh, rout the Philistines all through the day. And in just this little phrase at verse 23, so the Lord saved Israel that day, we kind of see the story of what happened. So Jonathan got things rolling. God really got things going through his servant, Jonathan. And then Saul kind of falls along and everybody gets in, the people that are hiding now, they all join the melee and away they go. How would we uh, think about this for ourselves? Well, again, we're kind of back to that proactive and reactive thing we talked about the other morning, right? Sometimes we just uh, are very much sitting and waiting for something to happen. Saul is sitting, he's waiting for something to happen. There's actually an earthquake here. I don't know if, don't know if you saw it there in verse 16 or 17, verse 15 there, there's that big earthquake. So God uh, seems to have seconded everything by putting a big earthquake there and after Jonathan had slaughtered the people at the Philistine garrison yesterday morning. God many times wants us to, to jump out and try to do something. Hey, sometimes it's worse to do nothing than to do something and get it wrong. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, as we've been working our way through this sequence of events, we see now that you've turned the tide, you've given a great victory for, for your people, and it kind of began with one person. Many of us feel sometimes in our different congregations, maybe we feel quite alone. We feel like maybe things are sort of slowly, only moving very slowly. Help us to be ag actively being in your service and setting an example, Lord, and maybe even just one of us, maybe even just one person who watches this video can make a difference. Bless, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Jonathan and Saul, and then everybody joins in, and away they go. Hey, God be with you today in all that you do.